good evening. I have brought you some tea as my mistress ordered, and as you desired, it is lavender. I hope you have been feeling a little better since this morning. I was out and about today in the human village, and noticed a few other humans were also under the weather. Seems like the seasonal chill that comes from the north is taking its toll on them. Winter is fast approaching, after all. I hear you take your tea straight without sugar or other additives. An odd practice if I do say so myself, but to each their own, I suppose. Be careful, it is very hot. How is it? Perfect. Well, what did you expect from the best maid in all of Gensokyo? <laughs> in case you become a little hungry. There was an extra scone left over from when Mistress Romilly and Lady Flandre had their tea. They told me you could have it. I know they have not visited to say it directly to you, but they are concerned about your health, and I hope you get better very soon. Which reminds me... Mistress Remilia said I could have a little break after tending to you. And since I have done my duty, I will use that break to talk to you. There's something I have been wanting to ask you for a while. And now is as good a time as any. Ever since you became a full-fledged butler, Remilia has been giving me more time off and breaks. I must admit, it is a little strange for me to be given a break. I am all too happy to serve my mistress tirelessly day in and day out. I am sure you remember me telling you about how she found me, and how I am forever in her debt. I suppose the same could be said of you, since you have sworn to be this mansion's butler for the rest of your human existence. The Scarlet Sisters could have used you for your blood, you know. But, for some reason, they spared you. But I digress. I said I had something I wanted to ask you. I have never felt so tense about it, and I want to... Um, what is the term? I want to get it off my chest. Please do not tell Mistress Remilia I asked you this. Do you have feelings for my mistress? Why am I asking? I... I see the way you look at her, and how quickly she accepted you into her service. Did you put some spell on her? Do not make the excuse that Lady Flandre found you. What were you even doing sneaking on the grounds in the first place? Just so you know, you are not the first human to try and sneak into the mansion. Many have tried, and all met the same terrible fate. But you, you are the exception, and I want to know why. Why would Mistress Remilia let you live? And what did Lady Flandre find so interesting about you to hide you in the basement with her? I just... Oh. Mistress Remilia needs me. I am not done talking to you. I will be back later to finish spilling my thoughts on you. Are you awake? May I come in? I am sorry if I disturbed your rest. Mistress Remilia and Lady Flandre just went to bed. Before I go on nighttime guard duty, I wanted to come back and apologize to you. After I left to attend to my mistress, she asked me again how you were feeling. I answered her truthfully, but she noticed I was annoyed. Something very unbecoming of me. She insisted I tell her what was bothering me, and, like the loyal maid I am to her, I told her the whole truth. As for her response, well, let us just say I have never been scolded by the mistress before. She told me that she does not have any feelings for you, and that you have none for her. You are just loyal to her like I am, and I should respect that. 
Mistress Remilia deserves nothing less than our total servitude. So, without further digression, please accept my apology. For my prejudiced attitude towards you. Thank you. I think the reason I became so frustrated was that, for one thing, I did not appreciate your attempt to hug me when I was training you. You are quite a flirtatious young man. I can see Maylin seems to like you quite a bit, as does Lady Flandre. Yes, I saw Maylin kiss you. I also saw Lady Flandre talking to you that one night, and she kissed you too. I was concerned that perhaps you had other intentions than just being friends with the members of the household. You are, after all, the only man living here. And you have plenty of girls to flirt with. <laughs> but I have to be honest, you have been a very loyal and faithful butler. You have not made any mistakes in the last two weeks, which makes your illness a shame since now I have to pick up the slack. <laughs> not that I mind. Like I said, it was very strange for me to have some time off. And I love nothing better than serving Mistress Remilia. But I have to give credit where it is due. You are a very good butler, and you have more than earned Mistress Remilia's respect. And I should respect you too and get over my prejudice. It actually feels very relieving getting that off my chest. I should let you sleep now. I did not want to disturb you, but I just had to come and tell you how I felt. I will be sure to check on you tomorrow morning. Hmm, I cannot give you a hug while you are in bed, but this should more than make up for that. Sweet dreams. I look forward to working with you again once you recover.